So hello, hello Aries, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm gonna be giving the message for you today. It is a general message, so take it as it resonates and leave it if it doesn't. If it doesn't, don't force it to fit. There are plenty of other wonderful readers on YouTube that just might resonate more with your vibe at this time. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel, I do use profanity, I talk about adult things, I don't sugarcoat my messages, and I certainly don't filter them as they come out of my mouth. So. If that is not your thing, or you have children around, or you just don't appreciate that kind of a reading, I respect that. I'm always giving you the opportunity to sign off now. Otherwise, we are gonna get into this. Um, I was also guided to let you know you might wanna check all of your other placements, you know, and kinda see how those areas of your chart pertain to these messages. And I was told to pay particular mind to mention Volcan. Um, it's real big right now. Volcan is your ability to protect yourself, spiritually speaking, and that's probably the best guidance that you could take moving forward in the month of February. Uh, Astro Gold is a great app that does track Volcan's movements. And if you don't know what your Volcan is, or you can't get Astro Gold right now, you can always, you know, my email's in the description. You can always email me your, your birth information, you know, date, time, location, and I'll just plug it in for you. And I'll just send you a picture of it. This way you know where your placement is. Okay? So, with that said, Aries, I'm using my Vice Versa Tarot, I'm using my Romance Angel Oracle, my Power of Love deck, and my Whispers of Love deck to give you your reading today for February. So, spirit, please, Aryan energy. What is going on with Aries? And Aries energy in the month of February. Give me three cards, please, spirit. Three cards for Aries. Aryan energy for February. Ooh. Give me one more. Two more. <laughs> Two more. There we go. All right. So we have three cards in the back base. Right away, I'm saying someone's walking away. Top of the deck. Oh, the reason why is it soulmate connection, past life connection, and something is blocking the way. And so Aries is moving forward. We are getting rid of the block to the authentic path, the freedom of the inner child, the liberation of the inner child that wants to experience joy in this life. And it has to do with a past life connection that might be calling to you, right? Calling you into the waters of love to not be afraid to swim. All right. Don't be afraid to get naked and vulnerable and go swimming, right? Don't be afraid. So Aries, we do have the emperor, which is your card. And it's in the back face with the sun, no less, protecting you. So the authentic path, like just like we were talking about the sun card here, there is a block. Um... Your authentic path is protecting you and you're being divinely guided. You're seeing a window of opportunity. You're seeing a glimpse of the daylight. And I feel like you're taking it and moving forward, um, maybe quite abruptly with the Knight of Wands in the back face. I feel like something's just gonna, like lightning bolt, divine epiphany, divine intervention. It's like, you gotta go, you gotta go. And so you gotta go. Again, we have the Hierophant in the back face. And again, there's this tetragrammaton or a pentacle on the back of the throne that he's sitting on. And it is a protection symbol, okay? And the inner child is there with the key of truth. The inner child is there with the key of truth. You are divinely protected at all times. If you have to up and leave in the middle of the night kind of thing, and that is your situation, then if you gotta go, you gotta go. Then you gotta go, you gotta go. If you have to move, you gotta move. And if you have to plan it in secret, you know, maybe you are planning it in secret because you just can't, you know, rock the boat where you're at right this very moment, but you know you have to leave. This is you taking steps to get out of there so that you can come into your light and marry your authentic path, right? Marry your authentic path with the Hierophant card. So, Romance Angel Oracle. Spirit, please, what card above all other cards would you like Aries to receive for the month of February? What card above all other cards? Yeah, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents or just parents in general, other parents in your life, you know, especially if you're dealing with um, 
an issue where maybe child are involved, children are involved, right? Between the sun card and the hierophant and the back face, there might even be children involved in this situation. Um, this is about healing the family issues surrounding it uh, and surrounding issues, maybe even being a good parent, especially if you're considering walking away from something or um, as if your kids are grown, right? You might be kicking your kid out or, or whatever and make sure that you can move forward in your, your life with what is meant for you and your authenticity, your divine connections with others. So don't be afraid, right? Don't be afraid of being a bad parent because when what we fear appears and sometimes when we try our best is what's actually doing more damage. Let them learn how to swim, right? Let them learn how to swim. You got to jump in. You're being called by love and you got to jump in and you got to stop maybe juggling, right? Because the two of coins is under that. So keep that in mind. You have to stop juggling. Uh, for some of you, it does reg regard children. For others of you, it's literally forgiving your parents for teaching you maybe that love is impossible or that maybe you, you learned that the children are more important than the partnership. You know, people that don't want to stay together stay together because the kids are more important, but they're miserable, which ends up affecting the children later on in life. So don't do that make you and your highest good partner your highest priority and teach your children that love is the most important thing that there is because without it you're just not happy you're just not happy sacrificing it so what do you need to remember my remember cards aries what card above all the other cards spirit please we got two yeah harmony and cooperation Cooperate the divine, create harmony in your life. Somebody wants to work with you, somebody loves you, someone sees the bigger picture, they understand the troubles that you're going through. I'm just pulling chakra energies off the colors. Um, someone's maybe been speaking truth to you, maybe you've known you've had to do whatever you are planning on doing, leaving for a while, and it's just a matter of doing it, right? Getting over the, the mental blocks and the soul scars that you've picked up along the way. Um, that need to be let go of. So in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value and you're able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything, everything, which is everything you do, everything you think, every message that comes in, like you're able to see the love in it always. Sometimes you have to let kids go. Sometimes you have to let the idea that you're a bad parent for choosing love first go because if you're not good to you you're good to no one and that's the truth and that is the truth so cooperate with the universe cooperate with your soul partner whoever they are um and make sure that you're at peace with it right no guilt well that came out fast yeah take a chance on love when we start to love our lives are changed forever this is your ship aries it's coming in this is your ship coming in um, to div divine bliss state. This is your authenticity. Take a chance on love because love will take you exactly where you need to go. It'll get you across any rough waters emotionally that you're dealing with because it's that powerful. Love is powerful and it can heal all things. Teach your children something better. Teach your children something better. Give your inner child something to truly be happy about and remove the blocks that are in front of you to this beautiful soulmate connection that's calling to your heart space. Holy, truly, and fully. I hope that helps. Aries, until next time, Divine Rebel Racy is signing off. Remember, always love each other. Most importantly, love yourself. Bye.